Hello everyone. Uh, it's January 15th, a Wednesday, and I'm prepping a couple of meals here, one today and one tomorrow, uh, since we're heading out for a uh, winter camping weekend, Friday through coming back Monday, and usually what we do is we'll cook some dinners or whatever uh, ahead of time that can just be heated up then on the stove and that so I'm in charge of a, of a dinner and I'm gonna do a hunter's stew which um, comes from this book here it's a church cookbook and many of you know that church cookbooks are really <laughs> pretty awesome uh, an accumulation of uh, many parishioners favorite meals and uh, this was my grandma's church in Alexandria Minnesota and uh, so it's a throw in a big pot and then you put it in the oven for six to seven hours at 275 degrees and let her cook down and uh, you'll have a nice stew that uh, we'll be able to eat once we get out in the woods. So the meat that I'm using is, there's some blacktail deer uh, from Kodiak Island in Alaska that Stephen got uh, and then also I'm cutting up some caribou that he also got up in Alaska between Soldatna and Anchorage and that so you put your meat in raw you don't brown it or anything and uh, then you add the other ingredients your vegetables and so I'm going to uh, trim up this caribou and get that in there and we'll move into the next uh, ingredient. So I have the meat cut up just kind of chunked and that goes on the bottom. Calls for a couple pounds of uh, lean meat and uh, I don't know what I've got in there. I've probably got just a little bit over a couple of pounds so Anyway, we'll move to the next ingredients, which are some potatoes. So the recipe calls for five potatoes that you dice up. Uh, I threw a couple extra in there because I got a little bit more meat than, than that. And uh, so I want to throw a couple more in. And since we'll have seven guys up here uh, eating off from this, uh, I figure they'll have a pretty hearty appetite out in the woods for a couple days, so we'll get these diced and in the pot. Okay, so we got the potatoes diced and those go up on top of the meat. And now we gotta do a couple onions. So the recipe calls for two onions, but I actually put three. I had two yellows and then I have one purple. Um, so we'll put three of those in here and the uh, next ingredient then is some celery. So I chopped up a couple of cups of uh, celery. The recipe calls for two cups and there's probably that and just a little bit more. So uh, we've got that in. Next is our carrots. So some of you have probably seen this uh, kitchen tool, the uh, cleaver cutter for doing vegetables and that. And so the recipe calls for a couple of cup, cups of sliced carrots. So I'm actually going to use this to do some of the slicing. And it's so much easier and safer than uh, using a, a knife like you know we most often do because they roll around or whatever. And it goes quite fast. And then I have some baby carrots here from the store. Those ones were the last from the garden uh, that I had here, but we'll get a few more of these. 
chunked up. Since they're smaller, I'll just put them in bigger chunks. So the next thing to go in is a can of uh, diced tomatoes. And the recipe calls for a 16 ounce. This is actually a 28 ounce. It's the one I had. And since I put more ingredients, more potatoes, a little more meat and stuff, uh, I think this will be just fine. And it's actually the liquid in the tomatoes, really, that's the only kind of uh, uh, wet ingredient to go into this, um, which when you cook it slow over that time will... The, the juice and the moisture will help uh, soften up all the ingredients. So we'll get that in. Put just a little bit of water to rinse out the can and, and that. So the next ingredient here is kind of interesting. Um, it's actually instant tapioca and it calls for three tablespoons. Um, I think I'll put an extra one in there since again I've got a little more stuff. So I think the tapioca kind of acts like a thickener a little bit. So we got four tablespoons of that. The next ingredient uh, is one slice of bread broken into chunks. I'm actually going to use two bread and this happens to be a sourdough bread that I have, so it's a little bit heavier and thicker, so you just break these into chunks and spread them all out here on top. Okay, we got the bread in there. The next ingredient is one tablespoon, which I will actually make it two, of uh, sugar. And the final thing is uh, some salt and pepper. So we'll get some of that in there. And then when we're out in the tent, uh, guys can add a little more if they want for flavoring, but we'll get that in there. So there we have everything in the pot and it you just layer it uh, as the recipe calls for and throw everything in here and I'll put the cover on and throw it in the oven for oh I'll set it for six hours so pretty much you know most of the day and uh, pull it out and see what it looks like if it needs to stay in a little longer we'll leave it in a little longer but uh, uh, should be pretty tasty when it's uh, done. So it's uh, 11 o'clock. So six hours. We'll put it at about five this afternoon. So it's going to go pretty much all day and uh, 
should be pretty tasty and like I say we'll just uh, throw it in a container and when we get up there we'll put it in the pot and put it on top of the wood stove and let it warm up and uh, it'll be a pretty nice evening meal. So it's just a little after five. I pull the stew out of the oven. It smells delicious. I stirred it up a little bit to mix now the vegetables and the meat together and that and I'll let it cool off and get it in a container and that for going up on our trip and uh, should be enough there for seven hearty guys plus I'll do my wild rice hot dish as well anyway uh, one meal together and successfully done like I say we'll uh, take this with and then just um, be able to throw that on the wood stove and heat it up for a dinner rather than trying to prepare something from scratch well it's Thursday morning uh, I did this batch of uh, the wild rice hot dish this morning uh, I didn't film any of the putting it together but here's the final product and we'll get it in the container to bring with on the trip so we'll have a good stew hot dish dinner maybe Saturday night when we have the full group of guys seven people there all together 